On Saturday, opposition politician Dr. Kiza Besji and members of the Forum for Democrat Change Party were in Ginger Town for a consultative meeting and a radio talk show, which were both interrupted. The show was stopped and the politicians ordered out of the building. There have been similar events in the recent past, with the FDC being refused to convene meetings with its supporters. Human rights activists say the actions against the opposition are unconstitutional. Every Uganda is entitled to air out, to freedom of expression again, also under Article, um, Article 29 of the Constitution. So in my view, the rapid stopping of every activity that Dr. Kiza Besti carries out is certainly unconstitutional. Dr. Adrian Juku, the Executive Director of the Human Rights Awareness and Promotion Forum, says the police are misusing the public order management law and using it as a cover-up for their actions. When the police says we are stopping you because of the Public Order Management Act, they need to have a bigger justification than just because you, are, you, you have a crowd that's waiting for you outside the, the radio station. For example, the most recent incident, our message was in Ginger, and then because there was a crowd outside, the show was stopped, he was pulled off the, off the radio talk show, and then they tried to tow his car away and all sorts of things. During the summit of the Interparty Organization for Dialogue, IPOD in December 2018, opposition members raised concern about the unfairness in the political game. The president blamed them instead. We can't go on like this. We have even seen blood on the streets. I recall the walk to work. Each time people are being arrested, you are witnessing untold torture. But torture should not define our image of our country. Some of the groups actually behave as if they are on the verge of being terrorists. Lawyer and human rights defender Ladislaus Rakafuzi says the iPod can no longer be an ideal meeting point for politicians who subscribe to different ideologies. The iPod has not been of much help at all. I think Museven only uses it when he wants to be seen giving handshakes to, to his so-called opponents. On Saturday, singer Joseph Mayanja, also known as Jose Chameleon, who recently announced his intention to run for the office of Lord Mayor, made a procession in Kawempe in Kampala and concluded it with a rally. We want democracy, and we can only get it if all of us play our roles where we should play them. But it's not a question of, I'm not going to do this because you're not doing that. It won't help. According to the human rights defenders, if no change is realized before the next election, opposition politicians could suffer worse. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.